So altars, altars are system, systems of authorization. Altars are systems of authorization, meaning that an altar is where a human being or a group of people meet with spirits or a spirit. And by them meeting, the human being now gives the spirit agreement to operate legally on earth. An altar is a system of authorization. An altar is where a spirit and a person or persons, groups of people meet with spirits. To allow that spirit to operate legally on the earth. Because the only creature or creation that God made and gave the power and the right to operate legally on this earth are human beings. Human beings with a body because you know that we are body, soul, and spirit. So for us, we are the only ones that have the legal right to operate on this earth. No spirit can operate on this earth without the cooperation of a human being, whether it's God or whether it's Satan. So that altar are where covenants are made, which are called agreements. So what, who, whichever spirit that the human being give that agreement to, get to operate and do what they want to do according to what they came into agreement with. Okay. So, if God want something to happen here, let's say God want to make his presence more known and felt on this earth, he need to get an agreement or legal right from a human being. Notice what happened. When it was time for Christ to enter the scene, God sent an angel to Mary, who is a, or was a, human being. Did he force himself on her? No. No. He asked. Acts. He asked. She said, he said that there will be born. And he told her all of that. And she said, how can it be her? Because I know not a man. And he said to her that the, the spirit of God will come over her. And, and by the Holy Spirit coming over her, the seed of God would be entered into her womb. And Christ. So he couldn't just come without her saying uh, yes. If she said no, she, he would have to, go, have to go look for another human being. Now, we always say it's up to God. It's not up to God. For it to happen here, God needed an agreement from a human being. Same thing with Satan. In order for evil covenants to take place, or evil to happen on this earth, he had to get that agreement from a human being. And for that covenant or agreement to take place, man have to rebel or sin against God to make a covenant with the devil. So whenever you see evil happening on this earth, or you see good happening on this earth, it happens 
because of an agreement or a covenant that was made by an altar between God and a spirit or Satan, sorry, God and a human or Satan and a human being. That's how these things happen. So we've read about all this in the Bible. And when God was giving instructions to Moses to the children of Israel, he was saying to them, do not worship other gods. No idolatry. Don't do it. And he said not to um, make them your gods. And in order for anyone to make, have an idol, it comes about via altar. So if you look down your bloodline and you see, we just heard of an example, a heart attack. It happened to more than one person. Then know for sure that there is an altar because there's, an, there's a covenant in play in that bloodline. And until somebody destroys that altar, um, break, null and void that covenant, it will continue whether you are saved or not. So we have to do what God say to do when it comes to altars. If we have inherited um, curses, generational curses, or we have placed curses on ourselves unknowingly or even knowingly, and we repent, repenting allow God to forgive us of all sins and iniquities, but the altars are still erected. So even though we repent, say, Lord, I, I repent uh, for stealing, and you turn away from stealing, and all in your bloodline was a bunch of people who stole, whether they were white collar teeth in or blue collar teeth in, or they break in and enter into somebody's car or house, it is still stealing. So that altar, that covenant is still there. So even though you repent and you give your life to Christ and you're no longer stealing, that covenant is still there. Meaning that you might be strong today, but a year later, three years later, you find yourself stealing. Two months later, three months later, you find yourself stealing. Lord, forgive me for stealing. Lord, forgive me for stealing. You wonder why you are drawn to stealing. The altar is still active. If you got saved and you, and, and you was into adultery or fornication and you repented, confess your sins and iniquities and ask God to forgive you, he said he, he is just to forgive us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Trust and believe you've been forgiven and you've been washed and cleansed from them. But if you find yourself getting into a relationship and you find it hard not to lay down with that person you're now involved with, and as hard as you fight, as hard as you try not to do it, you find yourself being pulled there, you never dealt with the altar, you will find yourself still being pulled there. So we have to deal with every altar. Altars come about through being um, disobedient to God's word. If we could turn to Deuteronomy 12. Deuteronomy 12. Read in verse 3. Deuteronomy 12. Read in verse 3. Let's read it. And ye shall overthrow their altars, and break their pillars, and burn their evils with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the name of them. Amen. So God is showing you how to deal with an altar. And ye shall throw down their altars and break their pillars and burn down their groves with fire. And ye shall cut down the graven images, which are the idols of their gods, 
and destroy the names of them out of that place. So we have to deal, we have to deal with the altars and to deal with the altars, we have to break them down, destroy them, call down the fire of God because God is a consuming fire. So when you call down the fire of God on evil altars, that's how you get rid of those curses. That's how you get rid of that, that spirit that was made with the human being to cause that, that curse to come upon you. And if you do not deal with the altar, the altar is still active. That means that Satan still have a right to still come. And whatever that altar represent, be it poverty, be it lack, whether it be delay, be it sleep and slumber, um, whatever it might be, Satan still have a legal right that was given to him by a human being to bring that back on you, whether you're saved or not. And, and hence, this is a lot of struggle for a lot of Christians today because one, either they don't know about altars, two, they think because they've given their life to Christ, that ends the, alt that ends the covenant, that don't end the covenant. The covenant ends when you destroy the altars and when you null and void, cancel all agreements. That is when now Satan do not have a legal right anymore to come and to bring that curse on us. Remember Gideon? Gideon in Judges 6. Let's, let's, let's go to Judges 6. Because the word of God says, through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Judges 6. Judges 6, we're going to read. Um, let me get there. Let's read chapter, um, verse 1. Judges 6, verse 1. Ready, read. And the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, and the Lord delivered them into the hand of the Indians seven years. So because of their evil, because of their sin, God turned them over to their enemies, and their enemies was fighting and destroying them for seven years. And now this is Gideon now. God sent an angel to talk to um, Gideon. So we're going to read from, let's read from 11 so you get a good sense of what's going on. It's a little read, but I want you to understand more about altars uh, so that you know that, so you know why it's so important to know what's fighting you or your family or your why things look like it's not turning around so that we know how to deal with it. And we'll deal with those. We're going to deal with some altars tonight before we leave. Um, these are some ones that um, God gave me today. And it, it's so serious, man. So let's read now Gideon 6, 11 down to 18. Ready, read. And there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak which was in Ophrah that pertained unto Joash the Abbasite and his son Gideon threshed wheat by the wine press to hide it from the Midianites and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said unto him the Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. And Gideon said unto him, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? And when all his miracles, which our fathers told us of, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord hath forsaken us, 
and deliver us into the hands of the Midianites. And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I sent thee? And he said unto him, O my Lord, wherewith shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in Manasseh, and I am least in my father's house. And the Lord said unto him, Surely I will be with thee, and thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. And he said unto him, If now I have found grace in thy sight, then show me a sign that thou talkest with me. Depart not hence, I pray thee, until I come unto thee, and bring forth my presence, and set it before thee. And he said, I will tarry until thou come again. Okay, so Gideon was asking a question um, in 13, and he said, And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? In other words, why all this evil happening to us if God is our God? Why is all of this happening? But we read that Israel did evil. Israel did evil before the Lord and God gave them up to the Midianites for seven years because of the evil. And we're going to find out what that evil was. Let's read. Go over. Okay, so now he'd already presented. He wanted to present his gift. He already presented his gift. So now let's read 27 to 26. Ready, read? 24, sorry. 24 through 26. Then Gideon built an altar there unto the Lord, and called it Jehovah Shalom. And to this day, it is yet an offer of the Azerite. And it came to pass the same night that the Lord said unto him, Take thine father's young bullock, even the second bullock of seven years, and throw down the altar of Baal at thy father's house, and cut down the grove that is by it, and build an altar unto the Lord thy God upon the top of this rock, in the order of this, and take the second bullock, and offer a burnt sacrifice with the wood of the grove, and shall cut down. So Gideon, first of all, he presented his present to God, which was a kid and, and some cakes and some broth. And the angel told him to put them all on a rock. And the angel took the staff or whatever he had in his hand, and he touched it, and fire came on it. And it was consumed. So God accepted that sacrifice from Gideon. And now it said now at that same night God appeared to Gideon. And here it says God is telling him what he have to do. He have before he can put up an altar to God, he have to take down the altar of Baal. So to get rid of the curse, the evil that God allowed to come on them for seven years. They had to get rid of the altar that was erected to Baal. So in order to get rid of the curse or the evil that is on you, that is following you because of what you did in the past, what your forefathers did in the past, you must destroy every altar. And after he destroyed this altar, God tell him what to do and build an altar unto the Lord thy God. So, get rid of the curses, the generational curses, get rid of the altars. 
so that when we now come to God and we start to pray and the blessings are released to us, there are no covenants speaking, stopping, delaying, hindering that from coming to you. Because a lot of things that children of God have prayed for, God have released a long time ago. But because of the covenants, because of the altars that we don't know exist or we just don't know that they're there, speaks and, go and gives Satan a legal right to hold it up. And so we don't see the manifestation. So we have to get rid of the altars and the faster we get rid of these altars, the better for us. So Lord, we give you thanks tonight for open up our eyes to see. As I was to God with this, there are some, you know, there are some people who start and they, they get things started real, real good. And they never finish. Incompletion or incomplete. And then there's there are altars that that altars of failure, altars of disappointment, altars fighting or working or speaking against your finances. Serious. Yes. Altars of accidents, car accident, body accident. You break this, you break that. Accidents. Always tripping now, can't figure out why. Blockage, loss, damage. All this. When you see slow movement, no movement, um, look like this, there's always the same thing repeating itself, then know for sure it's got to be an altar speaking. There's also um, when you should, when God should be, when God's in help to you, you don't see help. Um, destiny help us are nowhere to be found. Favor is nowhere to be found. So you have altars speaking uh, against the favor and help that God have released to us. So this favor, some of us, um, instead of seeing uh, overflow, we see trickle. So all of these are uh, altars that we need to address, um, get rid of it. And a lot, a lot of these came from, that we inherited, most of these we inherited. If you look down your bloodline, you probably have one, a close relative that, if they find a job, they don't stay on the job. And even though um, they might have the qualification for the job, um, they just don't hold on to the job. They just can't find a good, good job. And so they end up finding jobs that they are overqualified for. Years and years without a job. And when they get a job, they don't keep it. People that are in relationship and can't keep the relationship or their boyfriend and girlfriend for a long, long time and marriage can't seem to come. It's good to shock up, but when it comes to that marriage, it's like a stone that doesn't happen or it will never happen. They're all altar speaking. Sickness, diseases, um, chronic illnesses, um, blood diseases, um, mental illness. A lot of these are all the stuff. If you don't call by name and address, they still stay there. My people perish for lack of knowledge. And so when, when we cry out to God, when we come to God and we ask God, okay, God, what's going on? Why is it that I can't see things moving? I'm your child, I'm your child, I'm faithful. Uh, I do what you tell me to do. I give what you tell me to give. I sow. I'm a sower. I'm a tither. I'm a giver. I come to church. I assist people. Why is it it still look like nothing happening for me? Disfavor. 
altars of disfavor. No help. Dry lands. So we have to really, really, really um, pay attention to our lives. Look at what is being repeated in your bloodline. Look at your life and compare it to the last two years, four years, six years. And when I say compare it, really, really compare it and see how much you've grown. And let's pray you didn't go on backwards. Because if, if you see it is real, real slow, or you see that there was no movement, then there's an altar. Have to be dealt with. I know of people who have college degrees, don't have a job. And a lot of them who have a job, they don't have a job using those certificates and those diplomas. So it's almost useless. Altars. A lot of us as children, um, People take a, took advantage of us and we put up walls and barriers trying to protect ourselves. Um, a lot of us have that spirit of self-pity on us. Or we took offense when somebody hurt us or something didn't go right or we were so offended. Um, if we don't pull these up and uproot this, we'll forever be passed by without people seeing us, without us seeing the favor of God on us. Why? Because there is an agreement made and that agreement is keeping us in bondage. So we have to really, really pray this prayer tonight to destroy these altars and covenants and ask God to release also on us and to restore back to us as well so that we see our lives start to look like the life God has given to us greater and better so I have this written down and we're going to pray them. And then I'm going to give you some time after we pray these. So if there's any that I have not said, then, and you, and the Holy Spirit bring it to your remembrance, then I want you to deal with it. Uh, by saying the same prayer we say tonight, just destroying the altars. Because if you don't destroy it, then of course, it's another delay again, or no faith or no help. Struggles got to come to an end. Have to. Not knowing what's going on with you, have to come to an end. Have to because God got far greater. Um, he said in, in Psalm 23, my cup run it over. Are your cups running over? No. Not like how you might want it to. Unless it's a teeny tiny cup. You know, wants a little doll baby to play doll. The little teacup with the little children babies, little babies to play with. The little cup only so big, yeah, you can run that over easy. But I want that cup, I want that big, big one God give me. I want that cup run it over. I want that top, I want a jacuzzi size. That jacuzzi size cup run over, I want that size. I want that size. Why? Because there's a lot that I desire to do. So we're going to deal with these um, altars tonight and covenants. And so there's some what I wrote down. I'm going to say them to you. So in case I miss any, I want to remind me of it, okay? There, there are altars speaking against, altars speaking against our finances. Altar failure. Disappointment or disappointments, finances, failure, disappointments, offense, 
in completion in completion offense offense murder you got some murderers in your in your bloodline murder you have barrenness disfavor barrenness murder offense failure finance disappointment disfavor incompletion no growth no growth dull and dumb you know when you're small and you're in school and the teacher say you don't use a dummy or, or, you, or, or somebody oh you dumb you can't learn you know that's a curse oh you dumb you can't learn dumb dull meaning dull of learning it's hard to learn dull and dumb blockage blockage dull dumb no growth blockage loss damages debt debt BT debt fornication adultery and idolatry fornication adultery and idolatry divorce uh, fornication adultery and idolatry you have debt debt divorce fornication adultery idolatry rebellion dry land dry land rebellion sickness and diseases and we're gonna put next to them sickness and diseases you're gonna put next to them all blood related diseases all blood related diseases <coughs> Or chronic diseases, <coughs> mental diseases, all blood diseases, <coughs> chronic diseases, mental diseases, bone, bone diseases. <coughs> so they all come under sickness, sicknesses, and diseases. Mm -hmm. Bone, chronic and all blood diseases and then we have accidents and the next to that you're going to put car accident bodily accident meaning that you're always breaking something falling down having to go to the doctor car and home accidents so they can go next to accident 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 and you're going to put next to them I'll put a dash, uh, two colons, or two colons, car, home, and body, or bodily accidents. We have sleep and slumber. That's a serious one, because if you're sleeping, life passing you by. Sleep and slumber. Sleep and slumber, um, procrastination, got to get rid of that. Procrastination, mm -hmm. sleep and slumber, you have that? Breaking and entering, 
Because if you ever had someone break in anything, we got to deal with that altar. If somebody entered and you didn't invite them in, then we got to deal with that as well. So that nobody else ever come to do it again. And then I have death as the last one. Yes. So everybody get them? That's a lot, I know. That's a lot. So death was the last one. Um, sleep, slumber, procrastination, breaking in, and, and also entering, or break-ins, and entering. So we're going to stand and we're going to break the covenants on the altars. Father, we give you thanks tonight for delivering us tonight. Lord, I thank you for full deliverance on your children, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and on our bloodline, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray this prayer um, to destroy these altars and covenants out of our bloodlines on our father's side of our bloodline, our mother's side of the bloodline, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And also, Father God, all covenants and um, and altars that we have made ourselves, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we thank you, God, as you deliver us and set us free tonight, God, that we hold on to our deliverance. Father God, teach us how to hold on to our deliverance, that we do not go back, Father God, by our dreams or by the words that we say or by the words that Satan will try to use people to speak over us. We come now canceling them words um, now. And God, I declare, Father God, that whomever speak, they will only speak life over us in the name of Jesus. So, Father God, I pray and ask you to give us ears to hear. Ears to hear when the devil, when the enemy tries to come to bring back evil covenants via words. He might try to use people to speak over us. So teach us and to be vigilant and to really be paying attention to all that we see and hear, not just in the natural, but Father God, continue, Father God, to open us up to the spiritual realm to, Father God, increase us with greater wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through revelation, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you uh, for pouring out your spirit and revelation on us more and more, Father God. Give us your light more and more, Father God. Let our light shine brighter and brighter, Father, in the name of Jesus. And God, we come right now, Father God, repenting of all sins, right now, known and unknown, Father God, in the name of Jesus. So it's our hearts tonight, Father God, that when we say forgive us, that we come repenting, Father God, with a broken and contrite heart and spirit. That you do not despise us, Father God, because God, we desire full and whole deliverance, 100% deliverance, Father God. We desire it, Father God. We need it, Father God. Lord, so that we get to live the life that Christ died to give us, for he came to set the captives free and to give us life more abundantly. And God, we hold on to that tonight. So, Father God, we pray... Uh, we are prayers tonight, Father God, through the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father God, every altar that is speaking against our finance, our, fini our finances, causing it to, to grow slowly, causing it to disappear, causing it not to grow. God, if we give the devil any agreement to cause our finances to be destroyed, to cause it not to be to grow at the rate it should be growing at, Father God keeping increases away from us, keeping finances away from us. Father God, we repent. Father God, if you've given the devil any agreement through ignorance, 
if our, forefa- if our forefathers on our mother and father's side of the bloodline, Father God, make an agreement with, with, the, with the devil, Father God, to cause finances to run away from us. Father God ought to be moving slow into our hands. Father God, we repent on their behalf and we denounce null and void, cancel and pull up at the root all evil covenants that we have made and our forefathers have made, Father God, putting a limit on our finances. We have rooted tonight, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We have rooted tonight, Father God, out of our foundation tonight, out of our bloodline tonight forever, Father God. And we call on your consuming fire to burn the evil altars, the ashes, right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we declare, Father God, that wealth and riches shall be in our house, Father God. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, became poor that through his poverty we might be rich. So, God, we take your our inheritance in Christ Jesus. Jesus, because we are joined as with him. And God, we thank you from this day forward, Father God, that there's no longer a curse on our finances, Father God. It is finished. It is done away with, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, Father God. We thank you, Father God. Every altar be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every altar that was speaking against our finances negatively, we uproot you. We call on the, the fire of God. Be destroyed in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you that it is finished in the name of Jesus. God, every altar of failure, every altar of disappointment, Father God, every altar, Father God, of incompletion, starting and never complete and never finishing. Father God, we repent if we open these doors. Father God, of failure and even total failure and failures and disappointment, and non-completion, incompletion, Father God, of good things that we have started. Father, forgive us. And Lord, if our forefathers open those doors, Father God, of failures entering their lives and disappointments, Father God, and incompletion or not being able to complete, Father God, any good thing that was started, God, we repent on their behalf. If they murmur and complain, we murmur and complain against it and open the door, Father God, for failure to come, for disappointment to come, or we spoke it, or they spoke it. Lord, we repent. However, that door was open to give agreement to the devil via us, by us, Father God, our bloodlines, Father God. We denounce, renounce, and cancel all of these evil covenants that we've made, Father God, on every altar, Father God of failure and total failure, disappointment and incompletion, never finishing. God, we call on your consumer fire to burn them to ashes now in the name of Jesus. God, and we have root them, Father God, out of our bloodline, Father God. No longer failures, no longer disappointments, no longer finishing and uh, starting and not finishing. Incompletion is done away with, Father God. And we have root them out of our foundation, out of our bloodline foundation, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And God, from this day forward, Father God, we call completion, Father God. We call Father God, no longer disappointments, Father God. And we thank you that it is over, Father God. We will hear well done, Father God. We will hear great. We will hear congratulations. We will pass, Father God, no longer failing. We will pass, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We will receive, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, Father God. Lord, everyone who offended us, Father God, anyone who hurt us, Father God, anyone who has spoken ill against us, God, and we was offended by it, or we took offense, or we inherited the spirit of offense, Father God. Lord, we repent, and we repent on behalf of our forefathers right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we, we forgive all, Father God, who offended us, who offended our forefathers, and we denounce Null and void, null and void now. Pull up at the roots all evil covenants, God, that we've made, Father God, that allow offense, Father God, that spirit of offense to enter us, Father God. We have moved them tonight. We null and void, Father God, all those evil covenants. We call on your consuming fire to burn the evil altars to ashes now, Father God, and uproot it out of our foundation, of the foundation of our forefathers forever in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, Lord. We come against the altars, Father God, 
of dumbness, of dullness, Father God, of no growth, Father God, of loss, Father God, of damages because, Father God, of these evil altars. Father God, everyone who might have called us dumb, call us dull, can't learn, can't understand, we null and void, uproot all of those curses spoken over us. God, it was spoken over our forefathers. God, we repent on their behalf as well as us, Father God. We denounce, renounce, and cancel all agreement that we have made and they have made with these foul spirits and with no growth or slow growth, Father God. We call on your consuming fire to burn these evil altars, Father God, of no growth, dullness, dumbness, Father God, losses and damages, Father God. Every altar speaking to those areas, areas we call on your consuming fire to burn those evil altars now to ashes, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Uproot them out of our foundations, out of our bloodline foundations forever, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, we are made in your image and likeness. We have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. So, Father God, we are brilliant, Father God. We are the light of you, O oh God, and our light shine ever bright. And I declare, Father God, that, that spirit, those spirits, Father God, of dumb and dullness will never, ever linger or hover over us ever again in the name of Jesus. Every loss and damages, God, we call restoration back on them, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, if there's any altar, Father God, that is blocking our progress, Father God, that is bringing blockage, Father God. If there is any, Father God, we call on your consuming fire to burn the evil altars to ashes. God, if you've spoken blockage, Father God, and delay over us, we repent for speaking them. If our forefather spoke them, Father God, and say every time we start something, there's a roadblock, there's blockage, there's a wall. Well, we cancel them tonight. All agreements we made, our forefathers made, we pull them up at the roots and we null and void them, Father God. Open up the doors, open up the path, destroy the walls, Father God, that has been erected. Every blockage, Father God, everything, Father God, that is causing us to move forward. God, we call down your consuming fire to burn the evil altars to ashes and we the null and void all the covenants, Father God against us, Father God, that we have made, our forefathers have made, and God, we uproot them tonight in the name of Jesus. I declare no more blockages, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And God uprooted out of our foundation, of the foundation of our forefathers, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. God, we thank you that it is done, Father God. Clear the path. Clear the path, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, if there is any altar of disfavor, that is speaking against us, against us. Any all this, Father God, of helplessness, that we're getting no help, Father God. When you have ordered help, when you have sent favor, God, and we've caused it, Father God, to be this favor, Father God, and no help by we speaking the same. We don't need no one. Or we spoken negative word to cause it to come to pass. We repent, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Our forefathers spoke it and, and came into agreement. We null and void those agreements, Father God. We pull them up. We pull up every covenant at the roots. And we null and void all agreements, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We call on your consuming fire to burn the evil altars, Father God, against disfavor, Father God, and no help. Father God, in the name of Jesus and God, we ask you to release your favor, favor and supernatural favor, help and supernatural help, Father God, to help us, Father God, to favor us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, you say you give help to us from both you and men, and we call that for tonight in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you and praise you tonight. God, we come now to deal with this altar of death. Father God, if we've got into debt, Father God, if we've not kept up our end of the bargain and paying on time, or we're paying back on time and causing this debt to linger, Lord, we repent. If we inherited from our forefathers by getting in debt, Father God, we repent on their behalf as well. And God, we denounce, renounce, and cancel all covenants. Father God, if made with the spirit of debt, Father God, let us get out of debt and stay out of debt. 
Father God, in the name of Jesus, we call on your consuming fire to burn the altar to ashes or altars to ashes of death, Father God. Let us, Father God, be the lender and no longer the borrower. And if you have us to be the borrower, Lord, let it not be long. And let us do our part and pay it back in a timely manner and quickly. And God, if we don't have to borrow, let us not borrow, Father God. Let us trust and believe that you can do it, Father God. But if you say go, we do it. In the name of Jesus. And God, we uproot that spirit of death out of our foundation, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for getting us out of debt quickly. Father God and Lord, we, that it will not tarry beyond the time. And if anything, God, ahead of time in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, Lord. Divorce, Father God, if it run in our bloodline. And we inherit it, Father God, we repent. Father God and Lord, we denounce, renounce, and cancel all covenants that we have made. Our forefathers have made, Father God, with divorce, Father God. Let the one come, Father God, to us whom you have blessed us with given to us as our spouse from before the foundation of the world. We cancel out this, this, this spirit of divorce out of our bloodline, Father God, that our children will not inherit it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I declare that we'll have a good long marriage, Father God. For you say, whom you have put together, let no man put asunder. So God, give us the one that you have joined us with, Father God. The husband that you have for us, the wife that you have for us, we give you thanks. And God, we null and void this... this uh, Spirit of divorce, Father God, we declare that it will no longer be in our bloodline, Father God. We uproot it in the name of Jesus. God, we call on your consuming fire to burn the evil altars to ashes, Father God, in the name of Jesus, and to uproot it out of our foundation and our family's foundation, bloodline foundation forever in the name of Jesus. God, we come against uh, fornic spirit of fornication, Father God, idol and adultery. Father God, we repent on behalf of our forefathers, wherever it entered our bloodline, God, we repent. Father God, uh, even on ourselves, if we're guilty of it, Father God, we repent. And we denounce, renounce, and cancel all agreements that we've made, Father God, when we've committed fornication, adultery, and idolatry. Lord, we repent on behalf of ourselves and before, on behalf of all of our uh, forefathers. Forgive us, O God. In the name of Jesus, we call on your consuming fire to burn all the evil altars to ashes. Give us the strength to not to go down that road again, Father God, via uh, temptation, any temptation come, God. Let us be strong, Father God. Give us the strength to endure testing in the name of Jesus. God, we ask you to uproot, Father God, every evil covenant, Father God, that we've made. Father God, we uproot them tonight in the name of Jesus. We found uh, at the roots, Father God, out of our foundations forever, out of our bloodline foundation forever, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, we call on your consuming fire to burn the evil altars, Father God, speaking against us. Uh, fornication, idolatry, and adultery in the name of Jesus. Cancel forever, null and void forever. Father God, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you. We thank you, we praise you, we honor you. Father God, there's a spirit of rebellion in our bloodline, rebelling against you, Father God, on our father's side and our mother's side of the bloodline, God, and we have inherited, or our children have inherited. Lord, we repent now, Father God, for you say rebellion is as witchcraft. So, Father God, we repent on behalf of us and on behalf of our forefathers, Father God, we null and void all agreements, all covenants that we've made and our forefathers have made. We call on your consuming fire to burn the evil all this to ashes, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, God, that we do not be quick to sin, Father God, but keep us uh, from all evil, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, if there's any altars, Father God, of dry line causing our lands to be dry and the rain to be dust and powder over us, God, we repent for those curses in our bloodline, our father, on our forefathers' bloodline. We denounce, renounce, and cancel all covenants that we've made, Father God. Our forefathers have made, and we null and void all covenants. We pull them up at the roots, Father God, of our foundation, of our forefathers' foundation. Father God, I declare that no more dry land, Father God, no more dust and powder. But let your rain water every dry area, every dry area, every dry land. 
Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, and God, we thank you, we praise you. God, we come now against the spirit of sickness and diseases, Father God. It's in our bloodline, Father God. That's in our bloodline, Father God. God, if we've come into agreement, if, if it started in our bloodline, we don't know how far back, we denounce, renounce, and cancel all evil covenants that we have made, they have made, with all blood diseases, Father God, all chronic illnesses and diseases, Father God, all bone diseases, all mental diseases, Father God, all diseases, all sickness, all infirmities, Father God. We null and void them. We pull them up at the roots, Father God. We pull them up at the roots. We call on your consuming fire to burn the evil altars to ashes now, Father God. Right now, Father God, and I clever, make us whole, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, you made the, the, the one leper who came back, you made whole. So, God, make us whole, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, the woman with issue of blood, you say she, you made her whole, Father God. So, God, we thank you, Father God, for making us whole tonight. Father God, the sickness and the diseases are done away with, infirmities are done away with, Father God. In the name of Jesus, we pull it up out of our bloodline, Father God. Uproot it out of our forth, uh, foundation, or out of the foundation of our forefathers, in the name of Jesus. God, you, our bodies are the temple of the Most High God, and we declare it no longer. They are, it is disease-free, Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And God, we come against, Father God, all altars speaking, all altars of accidents, Father God, where is car accidents, accidents in the home, Father God. We come against them now in the name of Jesus and bodily accidents, being always falling down or some kind of accident. God, we cancel all agreements with these foul spirit causing accidents, Father God, to come to us, whether in cars or in our home or in our on our bodies, Father God, we null and void all agreements. We pull them up at the roots. We call on your consuming fire to burn the evil all this to ashes. Now, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, God, the spirit of sleep and slumber, where do you lay down and sleep or stand up and sleep? God, if we gave agreement and we are sleeping, God, we cancel every agreement. We repent for giving agreement. If our forefathers gave agreement, Father God, when they should have been awake, awake and working and they were sleeping, God, we repent on their behalf and we repent on our behalf. God, and we bind the spirit of sleep and slumber out of our bloodline, off of us forever. And Father God, we cancel all agreements, whether written or verbal, all, Father God, we pull them up at the roots and we call on your consuming fire to burn the evil altars to ashes now and we uproot it out of our bloodline forever, out of our bloodline foundation forever, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Put your spirit of divine speed on us now, Father God. Accelerate us, Father God. Catapult us to where we should be, Father God. Make up the time, redeem the time that was lost to us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you for restoring everything that was lost, hidden, and stolen from us as well. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we come against all break-ins, Father God, and all entering in, where there's car, home, or whatever we might own, properties and land, Father God. If it happened to our forefathers, if it happened to us, Father God, we cancel all agreements, all evil covenants that we've made. Father God, we pull them up at the root and we null and void them. Out of our foundations, we pull them up and out of our bloodline foundation. Father God, destroy, let your fire destroy all the evil altars, Father God. In the name of Jesus and God, I declare, no more break-ins, no more breaking and entering. Father God, we take back all legal right the devil had to wants to come and enter. Father God, or to break in and enter and to try to come to kill, steal and destroy what does not belong to him. God, all agreement tonight is canceled and null and void. In the name of Jesus, build your hedge. Father God, around our dwellings, our homes, our possessions, lands and buildings, vehicles, whatever our possessions are. Father God, build your hedge of protection around them and keep them all accident free, all break in freeze and all free and all entering in. Father God, free in the mighty name of Jesus. Assign your Lord, let your angels encamp around them. Just so you 
the fire, chariots of fire was encamp around Elijah. Elijah, God, let it be done to us as well, Father God. Just so you had um, Job and everything that he owned, hedging, hedge us in the same way, Father God, with your divine protection, for you are our shield, Father God. And we thank you, God, for giving your angels charge over us, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, I ask you to release upon us now favor, uncommon favor, supernatural favor, favor, favor from you, Father God. Favor, overflow, let our cups, Father God, overflow with good things, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, send us your help. We ask you for your help tonight, Father God. Everything, Father God, everything, Father God, that was delayed, God, we bind and we break that spirit of the layoff of them all. And God, if we spoke the layover, Father God, we repent. We made an agreement. We cancel all agreement with the spirit of the lay, Father God. Spirit of the snail, we pull them up at the roots and we null and void them, Father God, out of our foundation, our bloodline, if our pit was on our parents. We cancel them, we null and void them off of them, off of our bloodline, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Call on your consumer fire to burn the evil all this to ashes. No more delay, Father God, but your speed. Your speed, Father God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for releasing help and uh, your help and favor in every area of our lives, Father God, from now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Bill us, Father God. Bill us, Father God. And thank you for your overflow of blessings, Father God. Refresh us, O oh God. Refresh our prayer life. Father God, renew us, renew our minds, Father God. Renew us, Father God, to only speak life, Father God. Only accept life and to reject evil, to reject all evil covenants, mighty God, in the name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, Father God. Let us declare from this day only good things, oh God. Let us no longer speak that, Father God. If there's any mark placed on us, Father God, by the... Uh, the uh, Satan's kingdom, Father God, let the blood of Jesus Christ erase them, wipe them off of us, Father God. If our names are written anywhere, Father God, for evil, Father God, let the blood of Jesus Christ erase them, Father God, off in the name of Jesus. If anything written, uh, Father God, or spoken over us, Father God, that have us, Father God, moving or not progressing father god we cancel them we null and void them let the fire of god destroy them father god in the name of jesus every spoken word be destroyed now against us in the name of jesus and god you came to to give life and god we take life we take life father god you give us a choice and we choose life tonight and lord i, I declare that we will live and not die so god let us live let every member of where god is first ministry live let every member of the body of christ throughout the world live in the name of Jesus, let our siblings live, let our parents live, let our nieces, our nephews live, let Father God, our aunties and our uncles live, Father God, our grandparents live, Father God, our grandchildren live, our children live, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every member of our family, God, let them live. We have destroyed these covenants out of our bloodline, so God, let this blessing now rest, Father God, that you've spoken the, the blessings for obedience. For we walk in obedience, Father God, as light of the children of God. You, Father God, your children, Father God. So we thank you for your blessed covenant on us, God. Because you say if we do your commandments and we keep them, Father God, that we will be blessed. And the blessings will come on us and overtake us. God, we be blessed in the city. Father God, bless coming in and going out. Father God, baskets filled. So Father God, I speak the blessings of God over us. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we are tithers, we are givers, we are armed, give us, so us. God, we give, so God, abundantly pour back into us. Father God, in the name of Jesus, meet every need here tonight. And God, we thank you, Father God, for catapulting us, position us in life where we're supposed to be, realigning us in life where we're supposed to be. God, if anyone's destiny has been caged, if anyone's destiny has been switched, God, I call down your hammer to break the padlock of every cage. Break the cages, Father God, and lose our destinies tonight. Our children's destinies, our family members' destinies, our aunties, uncles, grandparents, Father God, still. Children, Father God, siblings, destinies, I command them to be loose tonight in the name of Jesus and to be restored back to the owner in the name of Jesus. 
God, if souls have been fragmented, wherever they might be, Father God, let your angels bring them together to, to wholeness in the name of Jesus. God, thank you for giving us the mind of Christ, God, that we think successful. God, we, I declare, Father God, as your words say, that whatever our hands touch shall prosper. But God, I thank you that prosperity, Father God, is on us and in our foundation, that everything that we touch will prosper. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, God, for the, the diplomas uh, that have been started. Father God, it will be finished in the name of Jesus. I declare every class, Father God, will be open for your children to register in and complete their diplomas in a timely manner. I declare no more delay. No more delay. No more delay. Higher education come forth in the name of Jesus over the children, over the body of Christ. Every open door now be open unto the children of the Most High God. Every door that was closed, Father God, I command them to be open. Good doors, open, Father God, for elevation, open for growth, open for transformation, open for change, open for productivity, open for completion. In the mighty name of Jesus, open, Father God, for financial increase. In the name of Jesus, open for health and wholeness, Father God, in the name of Jesus. O ancient gates, I command you to open before us. Open before us that we may come in in the name of Jesus and possess our possession in the name of Jesus. I declare that in this year we will possess our possessions in the mighty name of Jesus. God, I thank you, God, for life that we live from this day forward, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, we no longer walk in rebellion, but Father God, in disobedience, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, that we get to eat the good of the land. I thank you for the overflow, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. And God, we thank you, we praise you. We lift up your holy name, in Jesus' name. Amen.